Brett Rosenthal of Bubba Trading joins you now. He has a lot of energy and a lot of energy to talk about today. Absolutely. He's talking about energy stocks. Good to have you back on the Thanks show. Thanks for having me. All right, let's take a look at USO, which tracks what's going on with the bigger picture in crude oil. What do you see happening with USO? You know, with oil, we made a new low. You know, we traded 26, and then OPEC came out. We rallied up to the $30 plus level again. And USO is the way that retail investors can get involved with oil and not have to deal with futures and the big margins and all that it's stuff. It's a bite-sized piece it's of oil. A, it's a bite-sized way to get involved with oil, exactly. So what do you see happening here? Is USO going higher or going lower? Lower. You know, right now we are still higher than where we were the first time I've ever talked about it. You know, with USO, I'm looking at taking it to the upside. We've had nine straight weeks of Baker Hughes rig counts being declined. They're trying to lower production. OPEC's coming out. Saudi Arabia, the credit rating was lowered. Uh -huh. People, everybody is starting to care about oil. And I'm not saying markets are rigged, but I'm saying they generally tend to kind of move once too many people are in a little bit too much pain. Now, you're also watching what's going on with natural gas. And your play there is UNG. Now, we all know there's a lot of natural gas due to all the fracking that's been happening. Right. So we're kind of slushing around here in right. our oil. What do you see happening with natural gas? You know, with natural gas, we just made a, a, a new low in UNG, which is the ETF that tracks it, even though Natty Gas, the commodity, was almost about to make a new low. That being said, we traded as low as 660 Thursday or Friday last week. You know, we traded as high as 1520. So this is a product that is obviously very weather driven. We went into the weekend, it was very warm. Now I think this week, looking at the weather, it's gonna be below 32 every day this week in Chicago. So I think it's gonna be cold again. In addition to that, the rig count from Baker Hughes is at a 29 year low. So just like oil, natural gas, there's a lot of pain there. And all of a sudden, I think into, you know, through the spring as it gets a little bit more colder than expected, we continue to have draws in the EIA numbers on Thursday. I'm expecting UNG to kind of move higher here. Now finally on your list is Devon Energy. And out of all the energy stocks out there, this one actually looks sturdy. Yeah. It doesn't look like it's about to crumble. Right, you know, this is a company that had to cut their dividend. They had to cut their CapEx spending. They are gonna, you know, sell off assets to get three billion. They are going to issue more stock to get a billion. People were scared when they announced that after beating their earnings last week by seven cents. I'm not scared about that. I think it's fiscally responsible. I'm happy that if oil stays at $30, $35 a barrel, this company is going to meet all their debt obligations. They're not going to go out of business, belly up. So I'm still going to have a stock, and I think I'm going to have a stock that's going to be moving higher as people start to realize, hey, you know, when there's blood on the streets, even if it's your own blood, it's time to get in. Brett, we wish you well. Thanks for that so much. Trade. Thanks so much for coming on this show.